crow's tail. <laughs> Something is wrong. Foul. Cursed. Cast about this land, my friend. your oars.
Sunan, guide me. Secret should be here with the Regnesons. Dock the ship here! Show me. No! No! Stay still. Who stands before Eva Ragnarsson? Are you Sigurd Stranger? Uh, Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, we'll stain the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies. And now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok to the Mercian fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You plunge your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofred. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. For a fool, Abba. I know Burgred sent a very. I'm not going anywhere, Backrot. You have the king on his heels because of me, because of my men. For which you were paid. 
But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver Horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Upa and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Chelwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. You have what it takes to be king. One day, I hope. As it stands, we at least have an understanding. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf, come morning the Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Jeowulf is right to be cautious. If he shows mercy to Burkret, the people will have reason to trust him. My thinking exactly. And the quicker we act, the more lives we spare. On both sides. This is a good plan, brother. I am ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come, if only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheowulf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. A lively town. Quite a lot to see here.
Hello there. Until next we meet. Leaving already? Shy. You will ride like the wind. I hope to see you again soon. I'm off. Be well, friend. can I tempt you with? It's just your style. This will look very good. You wouldn't regret getting this. This would look very fetching. Leaving already? Shame. I must take my leave. So long. Show me what lies ahead. Some of us are staying behind, as I hear it. Half the army's already in Tamworth, and we've now got help from the south. It's our lot to look after this place now, to protect her. Shame. Wanted to see the look on Burgred's face when we stormed his fortress. Now we'll just hear big tales, told by drunken heroes.
I've heard all Danes are cursed with slow brains and fat tongues. Care to prove me wrong? Most men choose to be loud or stupid. Impressed that you manage both. I will take you on. Brilliant. Some flighting spirit. How about a wager? Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Oh, to beat such a braggart will surely be fun. Ah, quick to bite back. Be careful, young Ulf. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a weakling, a milksop, a catcher, a louse. Brilliant! I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Your pride is appalling, and your rhyming is worse. Got you there, young Irv. <laughs> I'm impressed. 
You are as sharp as that axe on your belt. As promised. I will have my winnings now. Take the gold. You've earned it. Well, if it isn't Eivor of the Raven Clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt, but I doubt you've much talent for speech. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. Here's the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor is a clod. Then you're speaking to fools and their knowledge is flawed. Well, not bad. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. And they're sorely mistaken. I'm known for my might. Interesting. Interesting. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Then you've clearly misheard them. My wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. Well, what a surprise. Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Don't believe everything you hear, unless it touches on my flighting. Then heed every word. Take the coin, and know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips.
Sail southeast. Bring the men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields, and Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of war. does not need to fight to be a... Move! Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chilwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Not yet crowned king, and already grooming his successor. That shows some boldness. Right. And bold kings need bolder sons. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Haha, <laughs> you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. 
It's a long ride to Tamworth. <laughs> Finds new ways to show oneself. I'll keep that in mind. And hold eyes open. You smell that trail, Burke? The stink of jealousy of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son. <laughs> Pack of Danes. Say from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought the Shire to help. Fears are with us, the common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over Mercia. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Fonberg, in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was it a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald. By words and by weapons, both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any scald's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive. Truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Gilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Gilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger. Not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a barrel of meat. It was not merely a deception. It was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an adeling, I would hire you as my skull. Skull? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. No croak for me?
I should not be seen in this area. Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover. I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. The Ragnar sons are the least of your worries, Burgrit. The Raven Clan now sits upon your southern border. And who might you be? Eivor of the Raven Clan, here with Sigurd Jarl. We are friends to these men, and foes to you. Well, you've chosen your friends poorly. Now that's to be expected of a low-born Dane. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more. We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, oh. tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. Hmm. You know your way around a battering ram. I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. You're strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I.
Fancy a game of all, Og? Lord, light my way. Who are you? I'm with the Reknesons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgrid wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jail there. Something wrong. I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you.
It's over, Burgret. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael, Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? 
But I did notice we were short one athlete. Where was the son of our king? Gilbert was around. It may be you missed him. Your lies are just like you, Eivor. Big and bold. Chronicle of payments made. It's like a ledger. There's a symbol here. A clan emblem, maybe. The brothers should see this. Ivar, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. We're wasting time. Tona is our only lead. We talk to her, find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go. I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonas. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time, but keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor.
Give not these men their trespasses. Send you. Give not these men their trespasses. Send them instead to the same hell they brought upon our land. Did you kill these men? These defilers killed themselves by despoiling this sacred ground. God told me the full tale. Then he told me to chastise them. And he has told me much about you, too. Stand down, Saxon! I mean you no harm! Tell me again, what did your god say about me? My god names you the Crow-Eyed Devil. <laughs> and he sends out his angels to find you and to kill you. And then they will fling you into the pits of hell, demon.
survey the area. Björn Bloodsoe's cave should be close by. That must be Björn for the sun. My eyes cannot forget the sight, Dad. Her hair so long and falling down. How are you cold? You bear skins, you wolf shirts, you tasters of blood. They call us shield biters, wall breakers, born in battle's flood. Soon, Alfilda. Soon. A man who fights beside a great white bear. You are Björn Bloodtooth. Ask the dead. What do they tell you? They say we do not want shapeshifters in these lands. They wished me dead. They are not the first. And you, come to make your name in battle. Another corpse at my door won't matter. I am not here to fight you, Björn. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. And I offer you a seat in our hall. I have no clan, and no need of another. You prefer to live alone here, with your bear? I prefer vengeance against the men who hung my wife and left her for the crows. Who is this man? A Mercian lord, whose name shall not sour my lips. He has scores of men, an army perhaps, but that will not stop me. And let me help. If you truly wish to avenge your wife, you must not fall in battle. I shall think it over. Njal, go with my bear. Feel her belly. And if Njal trusts you, who knows? Maybe we do as you say. You are tame for so wild a beast. Is that so? Tell me, what does a bear like you eat? Whatever you want, huh? Best you show me then. say Björn carried you into battle when you were but a bear cub. Raised you as one would raise a child. Your favorite flowers. They're not food, Njal. Reminds me of summer in Norway. We had fields like these near Hemminger's Hall. <laughs> I can see why Björn keeps you around. Want some fish, Njal? Here. <laughs> Nothing better than fresh fish. Eat your fill, friend. Stop you! Oh, oh, God! be in trouble as well.
have a strong war arm, Ravenshirt. These men did not come for the fame of defeating a legendary berserker. No. They were followers of the Mercian Lord. My blood enemy. My wife's killer. How did your wife die? Fame has two faces, Eivor of the Ravens. In Norway, many a young Thane wanted the glory of killing me. They died. I grew tired of killing. Alfilder and I... We came here for a new start. A quiet life. But fame sailed ahead of you. This Mercian Lord learned of your deeds, sought to boost his own name with your blood. You have the right of it. Only he wanted me to drink the Berserker brew first. When I refused, he demanded. Offered gold, even taunted me. Then he... He hung her. Arfhilda. Your blood feud is just. If it is something you must do alone. No. Your words are wise. I do not want to die fighting. I want to die knowing my wife is avenged. I want to kill that man. Help me. Tell me what you need. Nightshade. It's the last bit of magic I need for my Berserker brew. You shall have it. And when this is over, I trust the Raven Clan will have your axe. When you find the Nightshade, bring it to me beneath the gallows tree south of Beodorichwar. Nightshade often grows near graveyards. And Saxons build their graveyards near churches. Nightshade grows in graveyards. No shortage of those in Christian England.
We're off. An epic tale. Here is a story I have not told a man, for it happened only last month. I was sharing a mead horn with a beautiful woman when she we'll pick up from there. found to be rich picking. <laughs> Show me what lies ahead. Nightshade has a distinct stench. Like this. Must be near. That's enough, Nightshade. 
foul-smelling herb. I should meet Bjorn. promised. Your nightshade. Good. It has the power we need for the common ritual. Nearly done. The skull sailed and hung himself on a tree much like this. He lived, though. Most die. Yggdrasil, the world tree, Odin's gallows, the place where life and death are one. Ride with me, Raven. The Sather awaits. Berserker brew hits hard. It may open your eyes to the spirit realm. It may turn you into a savage beast. Whatever happens, face it without fear. What do you fight for, you bearskins? The wolf shuts you drinkers of blood. We fight for glory, we shield biters. War breakers, born in battle's flood. <laughs> been close to death many times but this this was different Ugh. feels like a Jotun kicked my head in tis glorious is it not berserker bro does not does not agree with my belly Ugh. 
But you live still. Can you feel the power of the bear's blood coursing through your veins? Yes. But you... you were a bear. And the bear power courses through me still. I'm ready. Where to? The Mercians who slew my wife cowered in Beodorchsworth. We shall kill them all! With me! No! Y'all will taste mercy and blood! Show me what you can do, Berserker!
have this. Let us leave this blasted place.
feels stronger already. Jorn, your enemy has fallen. You have your revenge. Yes. But now I fear I must ask you one last thing. Should you be willing? What is it? Njal is tired. I will tend to her beneath the tree where this all began. Please, bring us some of her favorite flowers. They look like... I know the ones. I'll gather them and meet you beneath the gallows tree. Stay strong, my child. I saw some of Njal's favorite flowers growing behind the gallows tree. His wife's grave. No wonder he visits this tree often. Flowers from Jarl. Now to meet Björn beneath the gallows tree.
I brought her here, where it began, where it ends. I understand. They hung my wife in this tree and buried her among its roots. A grim and undeserved fate. We took Njar in as a cub, she and I. No children of our own. Now both are gone. And I remain. Dear Njar, you were always at my side for the better years of my life. I must have done like this. We strive for fame and glory and good deeds. Naught else can we do. Yes. Even the gods will die. The Nornir stitch our dooms, and none may go against the threat. We are but single threads, and who knows what pattern they weave. Before, you asked if I would join your clan. I am ready. Good. There'll be a place for you on my longship and in my clan. I shall sing of Alfilda and Jarl during our travels. Sing of their deeds. And I will carry their names into battle. When you're ready, follow the River Nen to my settlement. We shall welcome you as a brother. I will be the Berserker of the Raven Clan.
How dare you touch those sacred arrows? You've desecrated a martyr's place. Hold, stranger. Show me those arrows. Why are you so passionate about these arrows? When Father James blessed the late King Edmund, he blessed that holy throne and all upon it. The blessing did not take. That depends on your opinion of King Edmund. I wonder... I have studied those arrows, but never dared touch them. But since you plucked them anyway, would you sell them to me? I'm willing to sell, but the King Edmund arrows might be mixed up with my own. I've the eye of an archivist, able to sort, new from old. The kingdom's history shall be restored. Just sell them all to me. These arrows are the very same that pierced good Saint Edmund. I must study these holy relics. Thank you. Killed our cattle! Danes did not do this! It's the devil's work! We know it's the Danes! It's always the damn Danes! Make them pay their guilt for the dead that now litter the fields! Yeah! Show sense, please! What would the Danes gain from the slaughter of poor farmers? 